so, making a triumphant return. <sighs> you again. Right, can you hear me? I'm giving you a feeling. Fuzz off, Hope. He does like to talk, that one. But jeepers, that was some showdown. Didn't go like I thought. How so? Okay, pop quiz. You get a special treat if you can tell me who showed Noel the Oracle Drive recording. I'm guessing you? Boy, I really underestimated the Shadow Hunter. I never expected he'd sabotage the prophecy himself. After you went to all that trouble to set it up, my heart bleeds for you. Hey, don't get me wrong. I didn't want it to go down any more than you. I'm happy it didn't. The world in that prophecy wasn't real. It was just a pretty fake. Like this god of yours, Benavelza. You know he's not omniscient. There are some things even he can't see. Things he can't see? Things like this? Oh, you're sharp as a knife, aren't you? When did you get to know so much about things? Still, I wonder if God knows his servant has her own agenda. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Nice work, Light. <gasps> Once upon a time, Noel was one of the leaders. He helped us in the struggle against the chaos. When the Order took the reins of power, he went underground, but he didn't disappear. He worked from the shadows to help keep the peace. If the prophecy in the Oracle Drive is true, then maybe I should have died. That would be the best if it brings out the best possible future for everyone. I'm not so sure about that. The moment you die, you'll have failed in your mission as savior. And that, in turn, means you could not save Noel's soul. What would happen to him then? You're saying those images in the Oracle Drive weren't real? Those scenes where everyone looked so happy and safe? They were no more than just a pretty fake. They were just pictures. There's no way to see into the hearts of the people you saw in them. Vanille and Fang turned into a giant crystal pillar, and together they held up an entire world. We were all supposed to be in it together. But in the end, the entire burden fell on their shoulders. So you see, they have to be helped. We don't have any choice. We owe them. So Vanille seen...
Thanks for stopping. What? to have seen something strange late at night, but I'm not so sure I believe her. That's odd. Why isn't anyone answering the phone? They've lived for so long, it's as if nothing can hold their interest anymore. They've already seen and done everything. Now they just go through the motions. We've got your potions, we've got your salves, we've got everything. store in these parts? 
She also goes by the name Mitka. Well, my name is Mitka, and I ran a bookshop once back in the day, but that was over 200 years ago. Are you certain I'm the one you're looking for? I'm not, but maybe you can help me. Listen, I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if you remember a man named Renolf. Ah, yes, I remember him. Gosh, that was a long time ago. Who are you, anyway? What do you want with him? He's the one who found me, really. He asked me to track down an old journal of his for him. He did? Huh. That's a strange request. And what is he up to these days? Eating muffins and reading his books. That's about it, really. Oh. Huh? So, why are you helping him, if you don't mind my asking? It's what I do, that's all. Oh. Are you one of those people who does charity work? <sighs> Call it what you will. So, can you help me out? All I can tell you is that I've never handled his journal, but I do know a thing or two about his past. But none of that is for me to divulge. If you want the truth, you need to find out for yourself. I plan to. I just don't know where to start. Head to the part of the city they call the Warren. Once there, seek out the man with no name. <laughs> right. Hope there's only one of them, or that's gonna be rather difficult. Oh, not to worry. You'll find him. But I urge you to be very, very careful. What you're doing is admirable, but it might not be what he really needs. That's the order's problem. The Chocobo Emporium? Good morning. Rumor has it the victims of the children's rituals come back to haunt the area at night. I want to see it for myself, but I'm not stupid enough to walk around after dark. Who is this? Who am I talking to? Oh, thank goodness! My name is Louise, and I'm being chased by some people! You're being chased? Alright, stay calm. Do you know where you are? Um, I'm by the North Station, right outside the graveyard!
Louise? Is that you? Are they still after you? <gasps> Is that you again? The girl who answered earlier? Those people chasing me? I lost them once, but they're back! Looks like they don't know when to give up. Where are you? Do you see anything familiar around you? I, I see the cathedral nearby, and there are lots of people walking around the area. Scream for help to get their attention. I'll try, but I can't promise I'll make it there in time. Okay, I'll do that, but... <laughs> Don't you think the timing of the call was a little odd? It's like the phone rang when I got close. Maybe they have eyes on that place. I think you should go and see if she's okay, though. She sounded scared. All right. She said she could see the cathedral. That must mean the south of the city. Is that you? Are you okay? Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping you'd answer. I'm sorry I ran away without waiting for you. I'm just glad you're all right. What happened? Well, I managed to get away from those people from before, but now... Uh, I think I'm lost. Let me get this straight. You're not hurt, just lost. And they're not chasing you anymore? The people that were after you before? Yes, thank you. I'm all right now. Look around you. Do you see any landmarks? Can you describe what you see? Um, I see... I see a bunch of shops nearby. How far from the South Station are you? Pretty far, I think. I didn't think about where I was going. I just ran. It's kind of messy here with a bunch of little streets. All right, I'll come find you. Stay there. Don't move an inch. Okay, I'll, I'll stay here. And, um... Yeah? I promise this isn't a hoax. You might not believe me, I'm telling the truth. I'll be waiting for you. I hope you'll come and find me. If you don't come, I... <sighs> Louise? Louise! What was she trying to tell me? I realize this is out of the blue, but, uh... You don't happen to be looking for a little girl named Louise. I am. How did you know that? Well, a good guess. I've fallen for her old pranks myself once or twice. Pranks? Yeah, she's a bored little girl with too much time on her hands. No one around here takes her seriously anymore. Think about it. I mean, she's been living here for several hundred years. Several hundred years. I mean, how easily could she get lost? Of course. Just because she sounds like a child. No child in this world is truly a child any longer. And even if she is lost, I mean, it's not as though she's hurt or in any kind of danger or something. Eh, I'm sure someone will help her out. Hope, what do you think? This is just another one of her famous pranks. The way she got cut off seemed real. She could have done that herself, for all we know. Just to add to the drama. There was something in her voice, a real desperation. Whatever the case, I'm gonna find her. She's somewhere far from the South Station. Did she say messy little streets? She has to be talking about Old Town. I think that's our best bet. Oh, the 
was here. Another fine day in the city. Who was that? We will protect this divine. Done with my morning prayer. So the children of Etro have. We didn't get all of them. Order. I'm inspecting the clock tower. That's where they hung the dummy. You didn't happen to see if they left anything else behind, did you? Thankfully, nothing dangerous was uncovered. In any case, this clock is fine. Job done. But there's a problem? There is. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the clocks in town are all set to this one. Well, if I want to go the extra mile, I really should check the other ones, too. Make sure they're all ticking right. Problem is, I have to stay right here and keep an eye on this one. If only there were someone else to check the others. But there isn't. And so you're stuck. Why are you so worried about the clocks anyway? What's the big deal? It's hard to explain. I have this irrational fear that keeps creeping into my head. That should the clocks ever stop, then that'll cause everything else to, too. Time, the world, everyone. Finished. I have to know that all the clocks are ticking. I hate to ask, but could you check them for me? It would certainly help put my mind at ease. Sure. How many are there in this city? Move to the residences. Poor kid. Crime sure is on the rise around here. The world as we know it really has gone to hell.
crystal doors aren't open very late. Gonna be late. The chaos has come. I never knew there were so many priests. Fellow disciples! I saw a woman with rose colored hair around these parts the other night. She seemed to have been inspecting the crime scene. A lot of strange rumors are going around. People are whispering about ghosts and ghouls, of being haunted by dead girls. You don't believe them, do you? I like to keep an open mind. If the stories are true, I'd like to help those people. They died because of me. Yeah, I know the extent of my own powers, Hope. But never say never. Like you have troubles. Something on your mind there? Oh, no, not really. Just uh, lost in my thoughts. Thinking about an old friend. Oh? He passed away, unfortunately, a while back. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, by the way, my name is Armand. I, uh, w would you have some time to spare? I have quite a story to tell about him. Sure. Tell me about him. He, he was a reporter. A firm believer that the pen was mightier than the sword. A do-gooder. Believed he could save people by exposing the evils and hypocrisies of society. Naive, maybe, but full of determination. Being naive's better than having no ideals at all. Agreed. At first, he was just a regular beat reporter for a local paper. 
his articles were mainly about the local stores and great discounts they were offering that week. You know, little tidbits to help people out in their daily lives. As you can tell, nothing worthy of the front page. But one day, a great opportunity fell into his lap. He got assigned a big story. <laughs> You're one step ahead of me. But well, that's enough storytelling for one day. The rest will have to wait for another time. I'd be happy to share the rest of my story. written down on